Hey, 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 what's up, party people? Let's go! Because no one's here yet. I know, we're all alone. Our guests are running a little bit late, and they all came in they together. They just came in. Look at this. There they are. They're not even barely late at all. Yeah, they are. They're 20 minutes late, but at least they came. They came. That's all that matters. That's all. And they, they didn't want to disappoint Chip. No, we'll bring them right in. <laughs> Look at this. You guys are barely late. I'm we actually just impressed. started about, uh, I should have got it. We started to, uh, uh, a while ago. <laughs> On time, you mean. Yeah, we just started a minute ago, like literally ten seconds ago, and I was ready to go off. He was gonna, he was about to be so mad. I was gonna calm him down by telling him Raquel Welch died. Yeah, it was very <laughs> sad. I thought you were gonna go off because your guest roster is two husbands and one of their wives. <laughs> well, let's be honest, the host is not exactly a big shot either. <laughs> Hold on a second. That's why I asked you guys. <laughs> Where's the other guy? Uh, is Ming, he parking? Ming is parking the car. Let's. We have a video guest we'll talk to for a second while you guys settle in. And uh, the whole thing has been a big fuss to clock. Uh, let's bring him on in. <laughs> that was well-timed. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> I was here first. Yep. So our guest just came. Hold on a second. Daddy's going to put his headphones on. We're very late tonight. My apologies. Um, okay, this is uh, this is Frank and this is Larissa. <laughs> hey, Frank. Hey, Larissa. How you doing? All right. <laughs> um, and and uh, so let me ask you something, uh, Jerry. Are you in Chicago? <laughs> uh, I'm Dwayne, and I'm in Chicago. Oh, okay. You ever have deep dish pizza? All kidding aside. <laughs> yes, Nancy's. I, I grew up three blocks from it, northwest side. Oh, you ever seen the Sears Tower? Give me your top five Sears Tower stories. <laughs> Let's see. If, if I had uh, uh, sex in four of the apartments, would that count? No, that's really nice. You ever hear the John Hancock building? Can you say it without laughing? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can say insurance. All right. So listen, what exactly is it you do? Zia booked you and didn't give me any information except this two-page prep sheet, which I've been too busy to read. Ow. He's he's a uh, he's in humor. He's a humorist and an author. He right. also sells antiques, and he has. You have an antique shop in Chicago. I have the oldest and largest. That's so, in my and my Hancock is big. Wait, <laughs> hold on a second. You don't even know what you just said. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the um. Let me ask you. What do you sell in the <laughs> antique shop? Uh, we specialize in mid-century modern, so uh, before the whole Mad Men craze, uh, I was selling that. But um, you advertise I started out it. Oh, mm. Stop sorry. yelling at him, Zia. That's, She's I, been screaming fault. at people every I'm week. Sorry. My apologies. I'm getting angry. I need to calm down. My apologies. Uh, I was going to say, you, you advertise as you sell dead people's things. Have you ever? I have, uh, yeah. Have you ever felt like any of it was haunted? I have had a couple haunted objects. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen. What was haunted? I, I, trust me, I have seen other realms. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I once uh, bought a desk. A guy brought in a desk, and he was uh, desperate to sell it like very quickly, which is always suspicious. Yep. Uh, arts and Crafts desk, so Mission Oak 20s. Um, and it had all these very strange carvings under every drawer um and it was if you it was like hebrew hier hieroglyphics i mean you could not figure out what it what was burnt into the bottom of these drawers so very odd um and i had the desk in the basement of my store and i had two gentlemen working for me who did not get along at all opposite totally one guy's white one guy's black the other straight there's gay they're completely different sure and one had the bible on his side <laughs> on a Saturday afternoon, these guys start screaming in the basement and run up the stairs and insisted that the drawers of that desk had opened and orbs of light uh, had shot out and started bouncing 
all over the place. And it's odd because there are there are no there were no uh, windows down there. It was all fluorescent lighting. It's a basement. Uh, and the one guy quit it. And the one guy quit. So. And the other guy is, is like, uh, I, I don't mind when the drawers open, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, actually, the other Wait, guy. What got you? <laughs> It was the drawers. Yeah, 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 it was the drawers. Thanks. Uh, so basically, you want to write a movie about that and call it Ghost Desk. Well, well, actually, I wrote a book called Selling Dead People's Things, which has been a number one antique uh, and collectible book on Amazon three times. So Woo-hoo. let me ask you a question about the ghost desk, because he was he's uh, uh, Brian's on comic book men. <laughs> it's like I thought his name was Frank. <laughs> An Asian walked in. I thought it was Ming. It's no, not. it's not a guy. <laughs> Understandable mistake. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. All kidding aside, what happened to the desk? I actually sold it to a woman. Hope you didn't tell the old bag. Did you tell her? <laughs> Don't open the drawers, lady. Don't put your tamps in there. It started doing it in her house. It started doing it in her house. And it was funny because she kept calling saying, uh, I'm not calling to return it. <laughs> which is it. what I was waiting for. Because I told it a couple times and it kept coming back. Wait a uh, minute. Are, are you bull sugaring me? Don't uh, are, are you are you giving me a bunch of bull sugar? <laughs> no bull sugar. Just a lot of sack. <laughs> um, because I, I one time had a ghost desk when I was a boy. What happened to it? I shouldn't say. But I was drawing pictures. I was just drawing like big dinosaurs with circle heads, and the, the desk put me to sleep. And when I woke up, my uncle was shaking me and my trousers were down. Wow, it's a good thing your <laughs> uncle woke you up before something bad happened. Sure is. <laughs> Hold Talk about kind balls of drawers of open. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Talk about balls of light. Yeah, yeah, and they smell like onions if you want the truth. Uh, what, work. what was the other evil uh, item you have? What other thing from other realms did you have? Oh, realms. Realms. Did you have uh, another evil thing that was haunted? <laughs> um, I, I've had a couple personal experiences, but not related necessarily to objects. Uh, what happened? Say, what happened with a ghost? Dolls, let me know. Yeah. <laughs> said, the only one here ghost stories. I want to know what happened because I have seen things. Oh, well, we want to hear about your things. One time I was, uh, fall, I was fast asleep. And I thought I heard something in the house, and I thought it was a ghost from another realm, so I spoke to it. And my mother said, no, that's the pipes. <laughs> were, were, was it the pipes, or did, it, did they speak back? Maybe she was wrong. I don't know. We never discussed it again. Oh, okay. Did well, she I tell you the... <laughs> I've had people come in and they ask, you know, tell me a haunted Eames chair story. You know, I don't, and I'd always say I, I don't have a haunted Eames chair story because that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Just make However, one yeah, make one up. Hold on, brother said something there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sell some books. That's it's that's that's not how you sell some books. Oh, okay. Never mind. What's the name oh. of your book? <laughs> Selling dead people's things. So let me ask you something. What's the uh, what's the rarest dead person thing you ever sold? You ever sell the ashes of some old grandmother or something? Oh well, that's not that has no value. Uh, that's except, right. Even when she was alive, it didn't. Except the grandfather. <laughs> right? <old> bag. <laughs> Uh, you're also, <laughs> I know you've also been into poetry. Chip, no, something I'm not. Up. No, well, Chip, first I, I was talking to Dwayne, but also, don't be so modest. You're something of a slam poet yourself. Uh, but that's different. I am from the streets. <laughs> the streets are from you? <laughs> yes, I am from the streets and I walk upon them, but I do not walk on them. I walk with them, the streets. If you were judging <laughs> that poem. He just he just wrote it wrote us a poem that was that was beautiful. Wasn't that? That's right. Your desk is haunted. A haunted desk. It tells tales. Uh, <laughs> How much can you give him for that poem? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not one of those things, is it? Uh, I would just I just slam him back. How's that? All right, God, give Daddy a poem. Uh, Charm the chipper. <laughs> he was also a stand-up comic. Maybe a joke. Maybe a joke poem. Uh, or one that's uh, gonna make me cry, make oh. make Chipperson cry. Wait a minute, you know what? So we got you get you you guys are in retail. You're the your comic books, right? They sell comic books. They sell comic, right? No, make sure. Am I correct? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they <laughs> work in comic books. Well, like perhaps. What do you mean, sure? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> They're on uh, a show. <laughs> he's on a show called Comic Book Men. Oh, does does he know that? Do you have Amazon Prime? <laughs> 
Yes. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm talking. Are you in luck? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. We're doing retail, retail. So, okay, bear with me here. So this is a chapter of my latest book, that is Confidential. Cheap, cheap plug. These are thing, actual things that people have said to me in the store. Uh, do, you all, do you get all this? It's an antique store. Stop you get all this me. stuff from a catalog. <laughs> Is this like a museum or is there anything for sale? I'm selling a coffin that was only used once. I don't want an appraisal. I only want to know what it's worth. Can you recommend other stores that won't buy my things? How much is free shipping? What's the least you'll take for something I'm not buying today? When you say a pair, how many is that? I'm looking to sell something that I think is illegal to sell. Do famous rabbis ever shop here? How you don't have a reality show is beyond me. <laughs> that yeah. should be a TV show. Everybody kind of comes in and you sell them something. In, in a way, though, isn't that a poem? That's, and that's just what random people have said. And uh, I'm not a good writer. I'm a good typist. Yeah, that's really good. I used to type, too. Mavis Beasley taught me. Who's oh. Mavis Beasley? She's a very famous typing lady. How many, <laughs> how many words a minute? Uh, 31. I think that might be slow. No, it ain't. <laughs> Is that fast? Yeah. I used to, I'm up from four, trust me. Okay, well, you know what? That's uh, better. Dwayne, listen, man. We're sorry we made you wait. We got to keep going with the show. I'm very backed up. But give a nice plug for your stuff so we can get people to buy it. Because believe oh. me, you will go through the roof. I, I would love to go through a roof. Any roof. I, I have no standards at all. Uh, <laughs> selling Dead People's Things, available on Amazon. Uh, also, an audio book if you want to hear more of me whining. Uh, <laughs> selling Vintage Confidential Retro Rattled. Uh, it's my latest book. Uh, also, an Amazon bestseller. Haven't done an audio book for it. Uh, you can find me everywhere. Uh, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, uh, in, in some of uh, our friends' uh, streets. So, <laughs> thank Wait. you for the opportunity. All right, listen, good luck with it. We're sorry we were very late. It was really busy. No, Z I, Zia fucked up. That was my fault. Yeah, sorry, yeah. have me fault. back. Have me back. Can you right. can you bust a quick TikTok dance? Because you're on TikTok, right? <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's giving you. Wait, are you? do you do TikTok dances? I don't do, I don't do TikTok dances. Oh, all right. Oh. I, I'm, I'm the only, only gay guy who doesn't know how to dance. So... <laughs> No, I know a couple that can't dance. You're not the only Introduce one. Introduce me. It's the introduction of the awkward. That's the true. Wonderful. What do you do when you go out to the bar and some young stud comes up and goes, hey, let's dance. What do you go? No, I'd rather just sit here and drink booze. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what? I usually tell them a story and that, that works. Yeah. So you use what you got. You know that. I understand. Money. That's what I got. Yeah. Fucking you a little bit of cash, you know. A little cake. Yeah, a little fucking, yeah, fucking cake. Oh. Uh, a little fucking cake thanks, I use. Brian. <laughs> All right, listen, thanks a lot, Dwayne. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Yeah, a little cake for the chipper. Now, uh, Is your I've... friend parking the car? He, he's, as you know, he's an Asian guy. Asian. So why I left the driving up to him, I don't know. I, he might not even be anywhere. He could have crashed a long time ago. It, it, the second we got out of the car is yeah. what I'm hoping. The way, the, way, the way he took us. It, 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 was we, it we, his we, fault? Put your hat on, Daddy. It, uh, I, it might be Apple Maps' fault. Apple Maps is the worst. You got to go with Google Maps. You got to go with Waze. Apple Maps oh. is it's fucking faster to take a map out of the trunk. Did they take you through? It took you through Brooklyn. It took us over the Brooklyn Bridge, yeah. Yeah. Bro once, once we went through the Holland Tunnel. Wait, so hold on. You went through the Holland Tunnel first? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then over the Brooklyn Wait, Bridge? And then through, this, through some, uh, some aqueduct, the Battery Park aqueduct. Oh, you and then fucked up. up. The Here's what you were probably yeah. supposed to think. <laughs> Here's what was supposed to happen, ladies and gentlemen. You were probably supposed to take the FDR down, and you were supposed to take the FDR tunnel and loop back up on the other side, and then you accidentally went the wrong way into the Brooklyn Tunnel, so it fucking took you back that way. You probably missed the right tunnel and you went into the wrong oh, tunnel. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's and then the map driver. just adjusted. It's my driver. His eyes look like they're barely open the whole time, <laughs> so I'm not sure he's paying attention. That's probably what happened. It happened to me one time. Yeah? Went into the wrong tunnel. So I thought you were a lady, you know. <laughs> anyway. Oh, no, Chip. So how's comic book men? 
comic book man? Well, it's been off the air since 2017, I believe. God damn it, babe. You, you didn't put that in the prep sheet. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chip. I should have known. I should have known. However, it does live on through YouTube and Amazon and, and all kinds of places. Pluto. Yeah. Pluto, yeah. People's, it's, it's weird. People still will come up. and the, the show was so unpopular at the time that people still come up like, hey, when are you coming back on? When's the new season coming up? It's like, mm, there's the, no, there is no new <laughs> it's season. It's been over for a while. <laughs> yeah. And Chip, I have to apologize. I, I know your standards at this show, but my wife is not wearing a, a brassiere. <gasps> I, 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 I told her, I, oh, what I told her to. Fudge, <laughs> babe. You told me. That's embarrassing. <laughs> okay. That's okay, embarrassing. Okay for the ride up with Ming, but once we're here. <laughs> oh, you got to wear a brassiere, babe. That's The fans hate that when they see bosoms. Yeah, they I always like make so her much. cover up. Sometimes her nipples are poking through. I know. I'm looking for nipples over there, too. <laughs> the second I said it, she was like, <laughs> 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 yeah, right yeah fucking Zia, believe me. My little <laughs> poodle diving friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking Zia. You mentioned boobs. I'm going to look. Yeah, yeah, I like a nice pair of hefty bosoms. You like? Did you like Amy's boobs? Oh, whatever, Amy. Yeah. Yeah, they were big, fat bosoms. He got to feel a pair of boobs last week. Yeah, two Ooh. pairs of boobs. Two pairs of boobs. It was very boobs. fucking hot. No, she she was last week, and I, I watched last week's show. The, this guy, he was just an antiques guy? He's not a porn addiction guy? That's no, that's a, a couple weeks ago. Guy. No, just a different guy. Oh, okay. He just goes down, <laughs> and I said, find a guest that has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> and she, <laughs> producer extraordinaire, fucking. I deliver. Right. Yeah, he doesn't does. like porn, but he does have a haunted desk. Or did, anyway. I don't know if I believe that story, but that's a little creepy if the fucking gay guy and the white guy and the black guy, they both ran up out of the basement. <laughs> yeah. They ran up out of the basement because the straight guy got a surprise. I think that's what it yeah, was. It, it's weird. He did go out of his way to make sure that you knew their races and their sexual orientations, which I didn't think was important to the story. <laughs> but yeah. Necessary. Yeah, it's only important if you're fucking being judged before the Lord, Lyle. My mother would say that. Right. Adam, right. And, Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Adam Adam, not Adam yeah. and Steve, the gentle barn. You ever go there? No. Go I would pet, like to, though. You could pet animals. So tell me oh, something. Oh, so it is the gentle barn. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go ahead, babe. You're being too quiet. Jump in. Where's Ming? <laughs> nah, <don't, laughs> Back to making fun of Ming. Don't be nervous, babe. Just jump in. Tell Chip your five favorite petting zoo stories. Yeah, give petting me your top five. Stories. How about this? Give me your top two most tragic petting zoo deaths. Deaths? Yeah, like one time I was there and I was I was petting a llama and I forgot that I was holding a hammer. Well, <laughs> did you pet the llama with a hammer? Indeed. <laughs> All right, here's your friend. Come on now. Hey, Didn't even get a is. chance to spit at you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> I know you were nervous about telling a story. Ming saved you. I understand. Yes. Go ahead. Thanks for coming. Welcome. You missed uh, you missed a little bit. Uh, how was traffic? Uh, listen, you can pull. Put full blame on me, but I blame him. I wanted to take a weather balloon here, and he wouldn't. He wouldn't let me. <laughs> like, oh, we can spy on, on people, <laughs> dude. You probably didn't even hear there was a weather balloon incident recently. Get out. Yup. What? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't look at me. Don't blame me. As yeah, long as you don't take fault. a train through Ohio, you're That's fine. Suspicious. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Or yeah. South Carolina, or Tennessee. Yeah, I know. Or any number of places. What is Petey Buttigieg <laughs> doing? All kidding aside. All right, so listen, what happened? You took the uh, the fucking battery tunnel uh, by accident. You were supposed to stay on the FDR from the West Side Highway and loop back up. It, it wasn't an accident. I didn't even want to do this. So. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't an accident. I tried to get out of this, and it didn't work. Oh, <laughs> you just kind of wound up here? Yeah. All yeah, right, I'm well. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I please. I love you, dude. I, I appreciate you. that. I love you so much. That's okay. You, I would say you're the most honest guest we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever comes in here fucking with bells clinking. Wow. Every every time I come up here, I, I'm screaming and I'm saying to her, "This is it. This is the last time. I'm never doing this again." And then I get here, and I'm like, "Oh, Chip, okay." No, yeah, it's quite no, a drive. I understand. No, I'm okay again. Yeah, it's just if it like Kumia's place, a snap, gas digital. I'm going to request that they let their lease lapse or give it up <laughs> or whatever, like a like a going out of business furniture store. And get somewhere like Midtown, like yeah. somewhere, somewhere right by right by the, the train station. Yes, the train station. Yes. Yeah, I can't believe you guys were in Brooklyn. That's a mistake. <laughs> but well, <laughs> that, that's how I was happen. like, is that the Brooklyn Bridge? <laughs> Let me ask you something. So you came on the fucking uh, FDR, right? At West Side Highway, you yeah. were going down. Next thing yeah. you know, you're in a tunnel. Right. But you were supposed to be in the tunnel that takes you around the bottom and wraps up to the west side. It's my fault. That L happens. Listen, uh, I had a driver do that recently. Oh, don't worry. Brian he was a limousine us. driver. 
Yeah, the Asian driver uh, stereotype is not a stereotype, my friends. Yeah. 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 How's it's, it, it's hard to listen to Apple Maps and pull a rickshaw at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I got us here. Yeah, and, and the directions were in Chinese, so what the hell? Yeah. So, yeah, hey, better late than never. Come By on. the way, do you read comic books? I do read comic books. What's your favorite? What do you guys think of the Flash movie trailer with fucking Jeff Miller? Uh, I, I love this. Everyone, everyone's like, "Hey Ming, I hope Ezra Miller pulls his shit together." And and uh, you know, like you know, for the trailer, like, no one gives a crap about him anymore. It's the Batman movie. It's the Batman. It's movie. Michael Keaton. It's Michael Keaton. Oh, I didn't care about that when he goes, "I'm Batman." I didn't like that. You didn't like that? No. How come? Is Heath Ledger coming back? <laughs> I, that might be kind of hard unless you maybe gotta ask our last can... guest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was last seen inside a desk. <laughs> Why are you looking forward to Batman? Let's break it down. Why? I mean, we haven't seen the dude in what, like 20, 30 years? Yeah, he's my, he's our Batman. He's Michael my Keaton? Batman. Oh, yeah, I thought you Michael... meant Batman in general. Yeah. yeah, I'm a Bruce. I'm a fucking, uh, what was his name? Adam West? Val Kilmer? Nope, Adam West. The Val Adam Kilmer West? can't do it. This Batman just writes everything down on it. That's just sketch. Holds it up. <laughs> I am vengeance. Do, do you go, st- Chip? Do you go see these uh, these superhero movies? I do not. I don't, I don't go see these big superhero movies. Why not? Do they not live up to the comic book? I don't know because I don't really read the comic. I don't. Re- I don't read superhero comics. Like if I read a comic, it's going to be like Swamp Thing or Sandman or like oh. something sort of like uh, more literary, I guess. Did you watch Sandman? Uh, I did not watch it. Good. Oh, okay, I liked it. I didn't read the comic books though. So mm-hmm. the the comic series is great. Yeah, that's what I he- I keep hearing. Yeah. Do you guys right talk about this on your Patreon? You talk about the newest comic books? Uh, sometimes we do a <laughs> show called uh, I Buy Comics because uh, Brian Quinn from Impractical Jokers. He's also on uh, on the podcast that we do. So sometimes they talk about uh, buying comics. Whereas Ming had a com uh, had a podcast called I Sell Comics, but then he and his uh, his podcaster friend I think they may have broken up. He's Oh, no. Loath to admit it. Oh no! What happened? Was it a relationship that went sour? You know these podcast drama. You know, like everyone gets a big head, and you yeah, know, they, yeah. You know, he, listen, he wanted to do bigger and better things, and I don't know if that's happened quite yet. But uh, it hasn't. <laughs> Wait, how long has it been? Uh, like, we 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 went for a solid like twelve years. Yeah. Oh, and when did it end? Like, like when did ago? it get sour? Like a, it was like a year ago. Yeah, I, I just got too much stuff going on in my life, man. You're too busy. Yeah, I'm building weather balloons. I'm like spying <laughs> on the. US I understand we're plotting our takeover you guys are good like when we take over I'll vouch for you guys I appreciate you guys are good. that I appreciate yeah, we will not that. put you into slavery or anything like that we know someone on the inside guys we're cool you do? yeah All yeah right. we're with Ming <laughs> which one <laughs> Ming who yeah. Oh, way, um yeah yeah <laughs> yeah Ming Chen okay there's like a billion yeah so let me ask you a question yes Ming. chip what kind of comp books do you like reading I like yeah, I like the good stories, the Sandman, you know, because I hit a point in my life where like I don't care about these superheroes. Like I can't relate to these guys, like a big Norse god with like muscles and like yeah, you know, big dicks. I can't relate to yeah, that. Yeah, fucking so. big hammer. Where are those comic books? I'd like to Yeah, read. fucking yeah. Thor. Read those ones. <laughs> yeah. Thor's so, hammer. Yeah, 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 like yeah, like Sandman, Preacher, you know, like those are the, that's the stuff I read now. What's the preacher? Preacher, they had a show on AMC as well. It's about a uh, a, a preacher, Jesse Custer, who lost faith. And uh, is trying to protect, if I'm not mistaken, trying to protect heaven. Like, God takes off, and so heaven is left unprotected. You've lost him already. But yeah. No, where been, did God there, go? There, 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 basically, there's an abomination <laughs> between an angel and a demon who had, like, a baby, and, and it possesses this preacher. So anything he says comes true. It's the word of God. So oh. he, and, like, in the first issue, he tells this cop to go fuck himself. And he, he stuffs his dick in his own asshole, and it's. I was like, I'm in. That's awesome. I'd love to meet this little devil demon. I yeah. bet Jim would too. Yeah, go take your long peck of chipperson and swing it into a yeah. lady's and head. It was almost as good as comic book men. Almost. 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 Yeah. Comic book men. Same network. Same network. Yeah. Right? AMC. Yeah. Are you still friends with your ex pod, podcast partner? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, I got no grudges against anybody. Oh, okay. nobody. Are nope. you guys do Patreon? How often? I mean. We yeah. usually, on Tell Him Steve Dave, we usually do it uh, at least once a week, sometimes a couple times a week, depending on how many shows we got to get out there. We do a lot of video. You do a lot of video. Mm-hmm. Is it you guys out and about? Are you mucking about? Or is it you guys talking about culture and comic books? Uh, we muck about a bit. We have a show called uh, Bro Side Attractions that we do, where like me and my friend Walt and our other friend Frank go to different like roadside attractions, that kind of thing. Petting oh. zoos. You know, petting zoos. Yeah, we went to a petting zoo. Petting we went zoo. To a petting zoo. Yeah. <laughs> Did you pet anything? 
Uh, over the head and scooch under the chin. What's your preference? I, I pet a raccoon, but it was two in the afternoon. It didn't go well for me. Oh, no, did he bite you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. I got excited until he, he said two like, in the afternoon. He looked like you when I mentioned cake earlier. Oh, <laughs> oh he was fucking... Yeah, I understand. He got a little excited. Uh, okay, and then what do you got? Like one guy filming? You got a sound guy and all that stuff? Uh, normally, we have two, two, three guys on it, yeah. Oh, it's a whole production. It's a, it's a whole thing. Yeah. It's a whole production mm -hmm. professional. Sounds fancy. No, it's yeah. worth it. You guys are raking it in, man. We do pretty well on Patreon. Uh, I did, um, who are these podcasts the other day? Carl, you know Carl. I know Carl, yeah. And, I inspire uh, him. He, he told me that. <laughs> yeah. He told me he would have hung it up if it weren't for you. Yep. And uh, he told me that uh, we're in the top 10 of Patreons for podcasts pretty regularly. I had no I had no idea because I don't go on and look at that kind of stuff. Wow, I don't, I I don't like seeing comments thing. about myself. No, I never Unless do they're either. positive. <laughs> yeah, trust me. <laughs> I I don't, never, don't read <laughs> any of the are. comments. On I don't look at my <laughs> Patreon. I don't want to know who's number two, three, four, et cetera. You know. <laughs> right, right, Chip. You just know you're in the lead. <laughs> oh, okay. So you got a lot of people watching. So you actually put a lot of effort into it. Yeah, there's a lot of time and effort that goes in. We have a bunch of merchandise that has to get sent out every month, shirts and mugs. Or sit in our basement. That. Or, Yeah, we have a whole, you can't say what it is. Don't say what it is. I'm not. Ooh, I saw I'm the eye mic. twitch. What? Yeah, we had to, uh, because we're, we're too cheap to pay for, yeah, check it out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Mary Beth. <laughs> Mary Beth, like I'm never hanging out with you again. <laughs> Who's Mary Beth? Larissa. Oh, I'm sorry, Larissa. Oh, Larissa. Larissa. Sorry, Larissa. Apologize so much. We're too cheap to pay for a storage unit, so we have a whole bunch of uh, merchandise in our basement. Well, my friend, my friend basement. Walt has a whole bunch of shit in his house too. <laughs> Why don't like you just do it like made to order as people order it? They can make it. We could. It's too much. It's too. It's the volume is too much, and I'm I'm not trying to boast. It's just like. If somebody, if, like, we have thousands of shirts we got to send out. It's, like, it's too much stuff, yeah. It's just too much. Yeah, same problem I have. I imagine right, that. Right. Yeah. Yep. Dude, dude, you got to ship that shit to China, man. Get the little three-year-olds to pay them three cents an hour. Get uh, them to do it. I got to talk say, to your people? Yeah, you talk to my people, man. I got to say, the Chinese are very liberal about, like, copyright laws and that sort of thing, like when we're trying to get stuff made right. with images that maybe we're not supposed to be using. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. I see. Oh, yeah, trust me. Chipperson decided not to sell a couple of things that may have been too close. Yeah. Yeah, they would have been big hits, too. Yeah, we wait for... Uh, we, we also do a lot of, like... Um, stuff on video where we like like commentary on other videos and that sort of thing and we've yet to get any sort of cease and desist but ming is no stranger to cease and desist letters oh yeah because he I've... constantly uses people's music without <laughs> authorization i do oh. yeah I put, like movies you're not like... allowed to do that but you are in china yeah so like don't don't my laws apply here I wound up, I seen the, there was a, a, a Rihanna, so you ever hear the song Umbrella? Yes, of course. She premiered it at the Super Bowl. <laughs> and oh. uh, I used that one time and made a music video to it. They wouldn't let me do it, but I was trying to rake in the money. Did you have an umbrella? Yes, I did. Did you, did you have a little dance that you were going to do to it? No, I just held it. Oh, okay. Well, did you tell the attorney I'm trying to rake in the money? Maybe that might have yes, swayed I them. No, I put that in the description. <laughs> oh. Um, hey. that, that might have been where he I went said, wrong. check out this video. I'd like to rake in the money. <laughs> they held it. So you, what do you do when you get a cease and desist? Let's talk legal stuff. I'll help you out. What's your problem? Oh, I'll just pull whatever they're crying about, and then I'm like, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. On your YouTube or on your Patreon? Uh, you both. Yeah, yeah. You just pull it, just delete it. Like <laughs> normally, it it's from his female client. <laughs> normally, at the yeah. Podcast, yeah. Yeah. So you got a lot of followers. <laughs> I, I'm all right. I'm not like this guy though, man. People love that beard. Yeah, mm. people it's love cool that beard. Not Zia. Well, I, I, oh, I recently saw Chip. Oh, shit. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, no. We're bringing the drama. Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. Mm -hmm. I'll never live this down. I'm, what sad, I'm sorry. You I, shouldn't. I was, uh, I was recently <laughs> watching this show that I quite enjoy called Sexy Sisters. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. No, what is that? Didn't Whoopi Goldberg start in that? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a woman who looks like Whoopi and Zia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, uh, sexy sisters. Sexy sisters. Who's that? You and who? That's me and my sister-in-law. Oh, you turned red. Look at you, how red I, you are. You're it's, embarrassed. It's because this is so funny, Brian. I didn't know that Brian and Mary Beth watched it, and they actually <laughs> enjoy it. And so now that I know that they watch it live, I'm a little, I'm a little uh, bashful. What happened? Yeah. What'd she do? <laughs> she came out with a level of beard hate. Wow. I hate a big beard, she says. Mm -hmm. I don't like facial hair. I don't know she if goes. I said it like that. 
And Jenna's like, I know, right? <laughs> ah, those <laughs> bitches. Yeah. I was like, look at these bitches. I'm going to shut them. They look too good, though. Leave it on for now. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's see if they come around on the beer thing. Yeah, she says that a lot before you get here. Is that what you were talking about? <laughs> Shh, Hope he shaves that fucking thing. I not tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> it was a secret. As soon as I walk in, no, it still looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, can't shave it now. <laughs> no. Too, Too late. late. We Too already late. started yeah. the episode. Yeah. But damn it. Next mm-hmm. time. Next Fascinated time. with your Patreon. You are, you have been for some time. You mention it every time <laughs> exactly. I come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think it's very interesting how good you're doing on it. I think Chip might be a little jealous. No, I'm not. No, Jelly I'm of what we can share. Right, right. Yeah. You know, that's well, what I we want to do. I pass on some of that Patreon cake too, Chip, because Chip's well worth it. And you get, you, you subscribe to his Patreon, yes. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we wind up getting a little bit of fucking... Cake. <laughs> <laughs> waiting for it. <laughs> so do you got to, what show do you do and how often? Talk to me, man. Oh, me? I don't, I don't have any, I don't really have any podcast anymore. I run a whole studio like this. Like I, I'm like the guest digital of, uh, of New Jersey. With a couple locations. He's, uh, he's, a, he's a mover and a shaker. Oh, you wouldn't think to look at him because he's so short in stature, right? right? Sure? You know? yeah, oh, like yeah. He looks like a young boy. He looks like a little short round. Yes. Right. But, yeah, I was like, why aren't you building railroads right now? <laughs> Look like well, a young charge. Mm. Yeah, so now I, now I help other yeah. people uh, record podcasts and shit. It's great. Wait, you help other people record podcasts? Yeah. So, do you have equipment? I have equipment, yeah, mics and, uh, you know, we're, I'm good at pushing bu- the right buttons and shit. What did you do on Comic Book Men? What did I do? I got made fun of by him. Why? Yeah, he was, well, everybody has a role, Chip, you know that. Sure. And for Ming, it was Whipping Boy. He was like the the little brother. Yep, so he got kidding. made fun of. He got, his sexuality was called into question. Are you homosexual? Every episode. <laughs> I'm not. But uh, you like who it is. You listen to him, he's convinced I am, I guess. Me, but... and, me and Chip will take a foot out and we'll see who wins. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've heard things. Oh, do you like feet? Uh, sh- uh, heels. I like women in heels. heels. Oh, heels. Yeah. You meant like wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like Damn. heels too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I like evil, like bad, yeah, evil yeah. female wrestlers. I'll beat my, my ass. My pecker can't get hard without Sergeant Slaughter in the room. <laughs> would Please. you Would you say you're, you're like, if you had to pick one, mm-hmm. you're a sub or a dominant? I'm a sub. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, look at me, dude. <laughs> I, I, that's what me. I would have guessed. I yeah, don't know yeah, 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 So sure. you like a woman in heels. Do I you do. like to pamper her foot and paint her toenails? Or do you like her to trample your scrotum? <laughs> uh, little. Can we go in between While wearing that? pampers. Yeah. <laughs> or, or why not both? Can I get both? You sure can. Okay, do you I'm like in. her to step on you in the heels? Oh, yeah. I, clean sure. or dirty heels? Uh, clean would be nice. Uh, yeah. You like a nice clean heel? Do you like to worship the heel? Uh, it, it, depending, it's, it depends on whose foot it's in. Like you know. if she'll say, suck this heel like it's a dick, you do it because she told you if to. If it's like, you know, yeah. If, if Zia told him to do it, he would do it. I've never seen really? a guy bow to good looking women as much as Ming Chen. <laughs> I asked him one time, we were at a poker game, a whole bunch of guys playing poker, and he was going on and on with uh, a, a woman who we had hired. She was like a, a burlesque, burlesque type dancer. Sure. Okay. And she was like a car dealer and stuff. And I asked Ming, I said, if she asked you to empty this ashtray into your mouth, would you do it? And it's just me and him. It's not like a whole bunch of people. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, I'd probably do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, and then oh. six months later. Yeah. On a oh, I've done that before. It's not good. <laughs> I'll show you her photo afterwards. You would do it in a heartbeat. One time we <laughs> oh, shit. He oh, would do it too. I would have got turned off for six months one time. So my mother would finish with the ashtray and she would say, Lyle. And I would have to lick the ashtray clean oh, because no. we had company coming over. Wow. Oh, no. Wow. Only, only six <laughs> months though, right? Yeah, only oh, for six months. I she thought smoked. it was a traumatic tale. No, she was, <laughs> she was a two-pack-a-day Benson and Hedges puffer. Yeah, nice, you, a nice you rough smoke? voice. Yeah. I never smoked, no. Weed, yes. Cigarettes, no. Hey, no, babe, you really smoke? No. Pole. <laughs> Occasionally. <Yeah. laughs> she was like, yeah. I know, I'm, I'm so old now. I fall asleep at like 9 o'clock, so I never get any action. <laughs> she stays up like till 2 in the morning playing Minecraft. Do you? Like, that, yeah. that's, what, that's what happens when you Lately. get married. Like in the beginning, you're banging like crazy, and then it's like, let's watch an episode of season eight, Married with Children. I'll drift off. Or Little House on the play. Prairie. Little House on the Prairie we've been getting into. <laughs> I'm a Walton's guy, but who am I to judge? A uh, lot, lot of shit going on in Little House on the Prairie. Drug addiction, rape, all kinds of yeah, stuff. Yeah, drug addiction Hot on the prairie? Oh, yeah, morphine. Fires. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? Uh-huh. Babies getting burned up in fires. All kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah Michael Landon out, smiling through it all. Mm-hmm. Yep. And every yeah. once in a while in an episode, you see him reach back and itch his asshole, and you go, oh, I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> pa, what happened? Yeah. What happened to you, Pa? Pa, why are you digging that rake into your backside? It's driving me bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're. This is good. <laughs> you're submissive now. Is it only to shoes, or is it to feet and high knees as well, or is it? Are you a shoe guy? Oh uh, no, it's the whole entire package, my friend. You yeah, pay the, for dominatrix? Uh, I haven't. No, I haven't. My goal in life is to not have to pay for any sexual pleasure. That was my goal until well, I was 16 and I blew well, it. And then it's been 37 years of not living up to that. Wow. Well, I mean, why don't when, you want to pay for it? Why? I don't know. I I I I'd prefer to earn it. You know, my parents, Asian parents, they they they, they tell me to earn everything. So. Well, you work for your money, you earn your money and then you give your hard-earned money if you look at it like that. Right. Yeah. You know. And that's yeah. a very submissive <laughs> act to be a pay pig. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I just I just Ming Chen pay pig. Pay pig? Pay, pay, at pay pig. Like, change your Twitter name, right. change your Instagram name. Like, go buy pay pig at work, you know, at, at the podcast studio. Yeah. Tell all your clients to call you a pay Come pig. here, pay pig. <laughs> yeah. So. Never heard the term, but I already, yeah. I love it automatically. What's the most? Pay pig? No. Oh, oh yeah. I've heard it too. Screamed at me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you, what is the most submissive thing you've ever done? Oh, man. I mean, I've, I've rubbed women's feet if they want me to. Yeah, my, I'm married, so, you know, my wife's always asked me to rub her back and rub her feet. And... Do you mind when she asks you? No. No, rub, but rub it's, been, it's, it's been 20 years, so. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, You're no. ready for some new feet. You're tired of her feet, believe uh, me. Right? And they're pretty nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Did she ever put on heels and stick them in your face? Uh, I, it's happened, yeah. Oh, all right. She's we, had, we had a Christmas party years ago, a company Christmas party. And, for comic book men? Uh, no, it was for View Askew. It was for Kevin Smith's for company Kevin. when we all worked for Kevin okay. at the time. And he brought his wife to the Christmas party in heels. In like Kevin did? No. Oh, Ming why did. Say, why would he bring your wife? Just, <laughs> in like Kevin's doing good. Two degree weather? Yeah. They're, it, they're... it was unbelievably cold and his wife, the trooper, had, wow. her, had her feet in those heels from Ming. Yeah, they're open. So I don't know if you're submissive shit, yeah. then. Maybe you are dominant. You're like, bitch, put those heels on. Right? I, what a good woman. I, I did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> she complied. Do you so. like a nice heel with an open toe? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let me ask you something. Okay, okay. What size foot do you like? What size foot? You oh. prefer a size that... six or seven? I like a nice nine or ten. A nice big foot, like a okay. like big Paris Hilton foot? I like a Paris Hilton fucking talon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I do. You, you, like, you like a shipyard? Like, you like some boats? Yeah, like some big boats? feet, but as long as they're nice, no bunions. Oh, yeah. Bo no, no. no bunions. No. Bunions equal old lady, man. Yeah, they sure yeah. do. No, I say fucking nice, worker uh, feet. Between like size six and ten, be nice. That's Anything, that's all right. You don't give a shit as long as it holds her up. <laughs> You're probably right about yeah. that. Yeah, I'm full of shit. Do you like a nice callus on a foot? I, I prefer no callus, yeah. Oh, right. I like to clean them up with my teeth, scrape that callus. Oh, so no bunions, but calluses. Are... Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Nice winter feet. Oh, Lord. Looks like yes. dandruff all flakes on Yeah, it sure <laughs> is. And sometimes it like you, you peel it and a piece of skin comes off in your teeth. Dry, you just crack. open the pet egg and... <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Dr. Yeah. Scholes, calm down, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like a fucking desert floor. You ever see that? There's no water. All right, see, so you're married. You got kids? I got two kids. Oh, all right. Yeah. So you got to behave yourself. You guys are married, sort of. right? We're yeah. married, yeah. How long? It was twenty well August 2020, years. so yeah, about two and a half years now. I think I say 20 years. I was going to go, out of time goes. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you we meet? We got married in Alabama, I guess. This <laughs> would have been nine. Five, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we met on a cruise, on the Impractical Jokers cruise. Oh, all right. I've never yeah. been invited. That must be fun. <laughs> I might have a good time on the cruise. That was all right. <laughs> <laughs> Were you a special guest? I was. <laughs> <laughs> so you probably have some pull. Well, I was. I was a special guest, and I didn't know that I was supposed to be in the special guest line, so I got in the commoner line. And so when I got in the commoner line... Me, the commoner. Like, Mary oh Beth my was, God, it's Ryan Johnson! Yeah, she freaked out, and well, like we got, we took a picture and all this other stuff. And you had a groupie. I had a groupie. You and married then a, your groupie. A different friend of mine came over and, and dragged me away, hmm. but I didn't know at the time that, you know, she'd persist and... She was she like, persists more than once. Hillary Clinton over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So wait a minute. You saw this guy and you go, all right, now that I know he's on the cruise, I'm going to make this happen. <laughs> well, kind of. Well, I knew he was going to be on the cruise. You it said you got on the cruise why, because of yeah, me. Yeah, it was kind of why I went on the cruise. Okay. <laughs> what did you think when you first saw him in person? You go, oh, here he is. Love at first sight. Yeah. Mary Beth has been planning <laughs> this. They said the camera only had it five times. <laughs> <laughs> 
And what did you guys do on the cruise? Did you hang out the whole time and talk and get to know each other? Hung out a little bit. It meant a lot to me that he remembered my name. So of course uh, he did. Then I knew he was the one. You're easily <laughs> his most attractive fan by. Like, oh, yeah. He yeah, took one look at her and he was like, he was like really? This one. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> no, I didn't know. We, uh, we, we, we talked and we hung out a little bit on the cruise, but like we didn't. Do anything. I only found out later on that I could have been getting something the whole time. The whole time. The whole time. <laughs> the whole time. Yeah, but then uh, after, <laughs> yeah. after we got back, we started. We started. We started talking and uh, awesome. texting. He gave me his stuff. phone number. She sent me naked pictures. Chip. That's Fine. nice. Yeah, right. I always <laughs> like that. Seen these, Brian? Be a friend. Well, I got. Man. A, I got a whole. St- <laughs> I'm going to have to get, put them off a little to a hard drive and just give you the hard drive. Okay, there's, cool. there's too many to take. Yeah, what I'll tell a lady to do is we trade <laughs> numbers, right? Mm-hmm. Why don't you send me a photo? I like when a woman lays on her tummy and digs both fingers into her anus and opens it for me. Whoa. Mm-hmm. It's hard for them to hold the camera. That, yeah, who's going to take the picture? <laughs> yeah, that's what they've all said. Yeah. That's what tripods and self-timers are for. Good yeah, it's yeah. a good comeback. I've never thought of that. <laughs> yeah. I always say... Throw it up in the air and hit snap and open. It never works out. You get pictures of the ceiling fan. You know? Well, now you don't have to listen to any more of their bullshit. Like, oh, I don't have a, I, don't, I can't. How am I supposed to do it, Chip? You just yeah, try self timer. It's as soon as you meet a girl, that's what you give her. A tripod is a gift. That's right. Here you go, babe. Get to work. <laughs> You're gonna need this. Get your cheeks open. <laughs> yeah, a selfie stick that reaches back there mm-hmm. for the like the asshole shot. Yeah. yeah. Ming doesn't put up with. You. See, I feel like you might be more of a dom. I mean, a. Uh... Yeah, Dom, than you think you are because you're not putting up with any shit. You're like, no, you're going to show me your bow. Oh, yeah. 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 Far nice. none. Yeah. No, no excuses. <laughs> it was in his wedding vows. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's serious about it. Yeah. Where'd you meet your wife? Uh, we met at a party in Worcester, Massachusetts. Oh, that's a town to party in Worcester. Worcester? Oh, yeah. oh, that's a fun place. What kind of party was it? It was like a New Year's Eve party. It was a bunch of nerds hanging out and shit. And what'd you say to her to get her? What did you say to woo her? I, I'm not smooth at all. So I. I <laughs> I didn't. I don't think I said the right thing, but it worked. Whatever what? I did worked out. Oh, you don't remember? I don't. You no. just walked over there and you were like, probably brought her a drink. Here you are, madam. And she was like, I like this. Yeah, guy. I was like, I don't. I don't drink. I was like, oh shit. Six no. hours later, she woke up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he wasn't touching her. He was just jerking off into her shoes. Yeah. She said, what are you doing? Get damn it. What are you doing, Pay Pig? Get away from my shoes. Yeah. I'm just cleaning them. Spraying them with a water bottle. They have a little poo on the bottom. Uh, suck it off. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think we just hit it off. I got no, I got no, I got no groupies. No, I yeah, understand. I'm just, I'm just me. What were you doing for a living at that time? And don't co- lie or I'll no. in college, so no living. Uh, what was no you living. major in college? Uh, communications, oh, oddly that's... enough. Look at us now. Look at, look at look at where I am now. Here we are communicate. Yeah, <laughs> that's out. right, babe. Chip, we've always been. We th- sync up. That was a great high five. We've yeah, we sync <laughs> up. Yeah, I could, I could see the sound level <laughs> spiking on it. Uh, yeah, Mix had a co- quite a storied uh, career. He, you know, he goes to college. He gets out of college. He worked for the government. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you do for the government? I was like working on contracts for uh, like aviation and shit. Yeah, Spy flying. Balloons. What'd you do? Did you make wings or something? I didn't make wings. No, I made websites for the people who made the wings. Yeah. Oh, did you do Boeing.net? Uh, it's something like that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, FAA.gov. Oh, uh, you did that? Yeah. Actually, oh. it worked out. Like, I, I was working in the department that was supposed to watch over Osama bin Laden and shit, and I got out before all that shit happened. I don't yeah. blame you, poor man. You dropped the ball on Osama bin Laden. It was yeah, my they, fault. they probably had him, and you put the code in wrong. It's practically the it my fault. No, the guy I worked for, it was his fault. So, oh, yeah? Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have wanted to be in that room when that happened. What'd you do to FAA.gov? I did nothing. I, I mean, yeah, I made it look cool. That was it. Did that it was look it. cool? It did when I was there, yeah. But not anymore. They no, fucked not, it up. They fucked it up, yeah. Do you know all the little back doors inside to get I, in I there? wrote some, oh, but yes, yeah, yes. they closed the back doors. Did they yeah. really? Yeah. You wrote a little code to get in there? Yeah, you know, Fish you gotta... to root around if you wanted? Yeah. You gotta you got always always look for the back door, my friend. Yeah, I always. know. Hell yeah. We're back on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Tripod and... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to be so salty. Bad. So you got fired from that job? No, I left uh, I left to work for uh, uh, Batman. I went to work for Ben Affleck and Matt Damon for a year. Oh. Oh, no wonder you like Batman. All right, so let me ask you, where'd you meet Benny, uh, Benny and Matt? Uh, they were friends with Kevin, so uh, they they had hired me for a year. As I thought, how did they know Kevin? Did they meet him? They yeah, uh, they did. They worked oh. on uh, Ben worked on uh, chasing Amy and Mallrats, and uh, and he kind of brought Matt with them. And then, uh, but I, I think it was Kevin that brought Goodwill Hunting to Harvey Weinstein. 
Oh, and, uh, okay. and you know, those, those two. What's he up to? Cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I yeah. haven't heard nothing about him in a while. Is he I still making movies? Yeah, I think he's out. Uh, you know, he's a yeah, different he's kind. One starring Ron Jeremy, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, old right here. Apparently, he's got dementia, Ron. <laughs> That's what I said. Ron does not look good anymore. No, not that he, he ever looked great. He's never handsome. <laughs> You know you're fucking, you were fucking, you're ugly when people are like, ah, I, I wish for the old days of Ron Jeremy. Right. He was <laughs> Never been more than a fucking two. We hung with the, 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 the hedgehog ones. Down we in Atlantic at, City, yeah. Yeah, we were at a con with them. We were partying with them. Party with them? But he, I bet he didn't pay for nothing. No. Nah, no, he liked it on no. the arm. Yeah, he That's thinks, cool. he, thinks his, he thought his harmonica songs were enough. Did he play <laughs> harmonica? He played, he played harmonica. harmonica. Yeah. Oof. Did he have a harmonica with him just yeah. at all yeah. times? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, in case a prison documentary breaks <laughs> out. Perfect. Hope he still has it. <laughs> all right, so you, what'd you do for Matt and uh, Benny Affleck? Did you introduce him to J-Lo? I did not. He he did introduce himself to J-Lo, but that was, um, that was Ben and J-Lo part one. Remember part one back in the yeah, early Ge- 2000s? What was the movie? Uh, Ge- Ge- Geely. Geely was yeah. a classic. Yes. Yeah, everything in a great movie you needed in there. J Lo, Ben Affleck, a, 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 a challenged kid. And they, they did. They didn't learn because now they're doing Dunkin' Donuts commercials together. Right. Like they just didn't learn the first time around. Yeah. Did she? Did, did he fire you for what? Did he fire you for? No, we got. I got laid laid off, which is why uh, he's not broke. Yeah, I know. I know like nine eleven happened, and uh, yeah, they they lost a bunch of contracts. Did he shit. blame you? He didn't blame me. <laughs> Man, I need some of those back doors into the company's yeah. websites. He did not blame me. So I was, uh, yeah, for once I was the correct race on that one. So, so. 9-11 <laughs> happened and he goes, all right, look, we can't use you anymore, yeah. man. Yeah, and that was it. And, well, they uh, were working on a show that was like, what was it called, The Runner? Yeah, something? they were working on the show where people would run around uh, looking for like hidden packages and shit <laughs> around the U.S. This is right after 9 11. Yeah, and people uh, were hiding shit. Uh, yeah, like literally they would hide like, you know, great. like a bomb shaped package, like <laughs> under, a, <laughs> under a bush. Hidden like, package. Public. You find a transgender woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you That's forget, what hey, you got Norton on the show. <laughs> That's a hit show right there. You bet it is. Yeah. All but, right, so but, he uh, fires you. He, yeah. How does he fire you? Does he go, look, we just can't. Can't use you. Yeah, now they brought us all into a room. Like, hey, that's it. We're uh, it's over. We're liquidating. Yeah, we're have li- you seen him since? Uh, I saw him. I I saw him once since. He didn't remember you, did he? Not really. Well, it was in a movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was watching. <laughs> yeah, he. Yeah, I I don't. Yeah, he didn't. Really, I don't think. He nah, he didn't know you were. So uh, let He's me. He's too ask. big to remember me. Yeah. Well. Uh, Matt Damon now Let me ask you What was Matt Damon like? I only met him once Because uh, he was so busy On uh, Born Identity And Ocean's 13 But he decided He would grace our presence One day One of the days I was working there What did you talk to him about? Uh, I, I was like Hey I, I, you know, I was trying to talk myself I was like Hey I'm friends with Kevin Smith And, uh, and Ben You know I know Ben <laughs> Oh, uh, that must have been a great moment for me. And he ran out of shit to say. <laughs> yeah, dude, I know Kevin, I know Ben, and fucking Kevin, and I'm ben. the one who let Osama Bin Laden go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But he looked over and was like, yeah, yeah, I know who you are, but yeah, totally, no way. No chance. Nah, no chance. I would never remember. No chance. No. No. He's notorious for that, man. Right. It's all right. I, I met him one time. It's all right. I, yeah, I, I look like, you know, yeah, I'm not that distinct, right? I look like a billion, a other, billion people. other people. Yeah. Well, look, he's Matt Damon. He's fucking busy. I bet he right. remembered you, though, Chip. Yeah, I'm curious as to yeah. your meeting with Matt Damon. One time I was at the airport, and I seen him walking into the lounge. So maybe I should have showed a little more discretion. Mm. But I picked up a magazine, and I rolled it into a <laughs> megaphone-looking <laughs> object and started screaming, it's Matt Damon. Let's go say hi to Matt Damon. <laughs> and I gathered 75, 80 people from around the, from around the uh, little area we were in and fucking went over to see Matt Damon. We charged into the line. It was fun. So that's where you <laughs> fucked up. That's what you should have done. Yeah, right. Not just drop names and shit. Like, I, let everybody else know it's about Matt right, Damon. In the elevator that we were in with, yeah. like, one other person. You start name dropping. You're like, right. I know this one. I know that one. Yeah. Trying to impress Matt Damon. Yeah, you should have yeah. just rolled up a magazine. That's right. right. <laughs> and I got, no, we got a bunch of us. We ran into the fucking, it was Continental back then. <laughs> you just crashed we, the lounge. We, no, we ran into the lounge. <laughs> and uh, you should have seen us. We stood outside the stall door and just started chanting. <laughs> <laughs> Started chanting, Matt, Matt, Matt. And then I seen him reach down and pull his pants up and the belt clink clink And I was like, that's Matt's hands. <laughs> that's Matt's smell. Yeah. Matt, Matt, Matt. 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 It was so great. 
About 60 of us crammed into that bathroom, <laughs> rooting and cheering, doing lines from his movies. It was a <laughs> moment for the ages. How do you like them apples, Matt? <laughs> yeah, I think I messed it up, though. I was too nervous. Uh -oh. I said, how do you like them? Um, and, I, and I said, indistinguishable fruits. I couldn't remember what it was. <laughs> road apples. <laughs> yeah, road apples would have been a good one. And I, go, I just messed it up. I was nervous. Well, now if you ever meet up with them again in the airport lounge bathroom, you know what to say. That's right. <laughs> I did see him one time after that. Oh, yeah? Yep. Did he recall you from the previous meeting? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that, that encounter was so awesome. He was in a restaurant, and uh, he was with a girl. And so I go, Matt! And he just looked at me and <laughs> left the restaurant. <laughs> I think you might have recognized the voice. It didn't endear you to <laughs> No. It was so bad because I had a camera. And I go, Matt! <laughs> you needed your megaphone. I know. <laughs> but he looked, the Mater D looked, everybody else looked, and then the pop rocks start taking pictures of him. Mm. And I uh, just, I figured he would remember me because I brought people to him. Right. That sucks. So <laughs> one day you're collecting Oscar statues, you're hanging out with Clooney and Brad Pitt. Next day, some some fools you're just yelling, "Man!" I would know. Man. Man. I'm a fool. I'm a fan. I even I even said one time to a celeb, I said, "Believe me, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be living the life of Riley." You're not wrong, Chip. Yeah, you're not wrong. It's good to remind him of that. <clears throat> I stuff. said that to a big celebrity. Who'd you say that to? Ben Affleck. Oh, uh -huh. All right. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sam Roberts. Yeah. Yes, I did tell him that. <laughs> Well done. Yeah. I said, listen, you Neanderthal. <laughs> <laughs> I got to say, I, li I like Sam's uh, look better with the, the bald head and the beard. I agree. Oh. Yeah, I, th I think it makes him look, uh, I won't just say masculine, but male. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks he looks less like a tadpole of, yeah. <laughs> of, of questionable gender. Yeah, you can't really tell what he is. The big hoodies help, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. He looks more masculine now. Sometimes he thinks he looks like fucking... You ever see Breaking Bad? Uh, I just got back from Albuquerque, so yeah. Oh, totally what'd you think of pizza and throw it on the roof? <laughs> they love that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. The woman who owns that house loves that. Loves it when people do. Nah, that. she probably doesn't. You might be right. <laughs> <laughs> you might be right, Chip. I drove by that house. Were there pizzas on the roof? No, I was working with a friend named Kelsey Cook, and she was a big Breaking Bad fan. So we rode around and looked at things for Breaking Bad. And uh, she goes, people throw pizzas on that roof. I said, get out. <laughs> <laughs> and I drove back to the hotel by myself and made a hitchhike. <laughs> Tell me that fact. That's not nice. Fuck yeah. We have to wrap up soon because someone I know has a fucking mediocre set to do. <laughs> I saw, I saw um, that guy set uh, on, a, on a Instagram where he said men's instead of men. Oh. And then was so hard on himself about it, it oh. actually made me feel bad for him. Uh, watching Dummy try to fucking do a Leonardo DiCaprio joke, yeah. tripping on it. Any men's that pretend, <laughs> I hate when he misses a singular and plural when he mixes those things up. It's a murderable offense. <laughs> yeah, the it joke, made me laugh. Joke really shit the bed as it should have. <laughs> I love Brian, and of course. Uh, Larissa, I'm so happy that you are here. <laughs> now, do you ever go on on, on the uh, podcast, Mary Beth? Um, she's been on I mine a couple of yeah, times. Yeah, I've been on hers. <laughs> what did you guys do? We did on Qualified Experts. We gave the internet advice. I think we did uh, pretty yeah. good. I'm trying to get her to do a little guest spot on Zia's OnlyFans, but oh. I'm having a hard time working her into that. Do you that. do that with girls, too? I haven't yet, but I'm definitely open to it. All right. That's how I know she's serious, but she sounds like Mae West. <laughs> I haven't yet, but by gummy, I'd love to. <laughs> you know, hubba, hubba. <laughs> Sign me up, Zoom. Sign me up. All right. I'll keep no, you have to up. up. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of submissive is that? Hey, bitch, send me a code. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you sign up? What is it? Let's give it a plug. Yeah. It's onlyfans.com slash Zealand. X I A L A N D. Okay. Now, do you show your hiney in this? Yes, I do. Do you show your feet? Yes, I do. There you I'm go. in. Yep. I'm in. There but you go. I, gotta get, I actually need to get a pedicure. I should see if they'll let me film a pedicure while I'm getting it. And they don't oh, ask. Oh, they probably will. Yeah, right? Yeah, of course. Why not? It's not exactly the Manhattan Project. That's true. <laughs> You're getting your fucking toes fixed. Yeah, you should. Then fucking show people will like that, I bet. I think people might like that, yeah. What are you promoting? 
Uh, I my podcast studio, uh, a shared universe dot com. That's nice. Yeah. So you can go there and rent it if you need to do a podcast. You, you could be your own Chip Chipperson. Yeah, I mean, it, not as good, but you oh could my. be. Uh, you know, we're pretty. <laughs> is it like this? Is it, it set it, up like this? It is like this. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's a pretty nice place. Have you it's done cool. stuff there? Yes, we just did something there last week. What parts of Jersey? And give me a couple of towns. Uh, Red Bank, Homedale, Hazlitt, Exit has- One Seventeen. Oh, all right. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, if it's at least four rest areas down, so okay, yeah. I understand. <laughs> or, or we'll turn it into Gas Digital South, so this guy can stop bitching about being in traffic. Yeah, yeah sure. why don't you come... then you can drive down there, and I won't have to fucking come to New York. <laughs> oh, I know it's heck on wheels. <laughs> Trust me. That's all right. We're finishing this podcast anyway. Uh, what are you promoting? You just give your old. Tell him Steve Dave. Tell him Steve Dave dot com. You can find everything there. Uh, I also do a show with the mighty E Rock. On Compound Media called uh, Would You Kindly. You guys go in for that or do it on Zoom? Uh, I do that on Zoom because I couldn't, I told him I can't come into the city. Yeah, I understand. It's too much. It's too now, much. We had Z on recently. A couple did? weeks ago. She was great. Thank you. Yeah. It was really fun. You made me laugh so hard. Uh, what I say? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, Chip, you make me laugh hard every day, but I was talking to Brian. Oh. He had some. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Cut that <laughs> part out. Okay. I look silly. Chip, you could never look silly. You're too distinguished. Look at that hat. Thanks, babe. What would made what made you laugh? Oh, just Brian's insights on sexy sisters. He had quite he had clips. He cut clips. He did a homework for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, this is amazing. I had no idea. And I was I'm sitting there as I'm, I'm watching, I'm like, there's so much. I was like, I can't <laughs> clip it all. There's just cause it cause it's it's very like sort of like serpentine. We'll start out here, then you'll go here, and then suddenly you'll ride wild. it's almost like our ride here today, where it's like, <laughs> when the fuck are we gonna get there? Yeah. But you get there. We get there eventually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So let me ask you something. Now you do this thing where you're, now you sell so many shirts that you, you wanted to just have them stored up. Who does the shipping? Uh, my friend Walt's daughter. Don't oh. be mistaken. We're not selling that many Would You Kindly shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell them, Steve, Dave, uh, my, our friend, the, the other guy on the podcast, Walt, his daughter does all the shipping and merchandise and that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. okay. That's really To leave good. our minds freed up for all the creative shit. That, that is we good. Do. <laughs> do you guys travel together to be creative? Do you guys go places? Like, hey, there's an antique show here or whatever, mm-hmm. like a road show here. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. We, we've been to car shows. Car shows. That yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. We, That's we, cool. Yeah. Do you get permission to film? Yes. Uh, we always have to do it ahead of time. We're talking about possibly going to a diner to. Uh, oh, have yourself a burger. That, that's what we're going to do. It's like a 14 pound burger or something. And if you if four people can eat it, you win 500 bucks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is this? This is a, a diner up in North Jersey. I'm not oh, sure exactly where. Bring E-Rock. <laughs> I'll let you know. When E-Rock, bring oh, E-Rock. Boy, they'll start counting out the hundreds. The rest of us can sit back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, now. Enjoy, boy. It's like four. We, need, we don't need four people. <laughs> How do you do my show and his show in the same week? It's crazy you fit, fit this all in. Uh, Chip, I did six podcasts last week. I did, I did two a day for three days. It was a busy week. Which ones did you do? I did um, Would You Kindly, and then I did... My, I did this one and two in the same day on Wednesday. Chip, yours. I... <laughs> <laughs> you look so bashful. No. <laughs> of course, yours is my favorite. No offense to you and Mr. E-Rock, but Chip is, you know. Oh, don't Chip worry. I like this podcast better, too. Let's tell him we didn't do this episode together. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I did the next day. I did my friend Christian's podcast. And then I did. Real ass podcast and then the other podcast. So okay, so five, not six, and then real ass podcast, which is or no, I'm sorry, short pod, long pod, which is another pod I have coming out soon with Paco and Bobby. I'm very excited. Paco, who? Paco, he's the other Asian guy here. And who's Bobby? Bobby Hutch. He's the executive producer. <laughs> for, for, sorry. <laughs> no, I had to look to see. Is like, there oh, more like, Asian? Another here? one? Yeah. <laughs> he's All he's right. he's also I think Chinese and Filipino or Japanese and Filipino. Something like it's that. like when a cat sees its reflection in a mirror. Like when they go out there. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> All right, listen. I'm glad you guys made it. I'm happy. Yeah, you us came, too. Man, I'm sorry you had such troubles. Man, it was good meeting you. Yeah, you too. You're you're a good guy. Yes, I am. Thank you guys for making it. This I'm always fun. here. Chip. Well, I wasn't talking to you again, Chip. But fuck you, no. I want to nice. use your podcast studio. You come down anytime. You got to wear heels before you come in, though. Oh but... yeah, no problem. <laughs> okay, done. She I must know my why friend. That sign was on the door. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's count down. Do you know how we end this? No, how do you end uh, this? Oh. We listened to it on the way up. I oh, told right. you. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So pick a number, Ming. Uh, any number? Uh, oh, no, the specific oh, no. number. <laughs> uh, let's say 15. Four. <laughs> four. Oh, three. Oh, two. two one. one.
Chippy Kaye, Father Marcus. And remember, when you're driving, being lost is only not being present. So don't allow yourself to have the presence of mind. Hey, hey, what's up, party people? Let's go! Chippy.